What do you think it is about Mortal Kombat that has made this franchise such a global franchise? Well, first of all, I think it's different. Um, I think it's got a huge, huge history. And I think it's global because it's got so, so much diversity. It's got so much, so many elements in it. And diversity adds meaning and adds interest. I think that's what our movie is trying to represent as well. It's that um, right now, being as interconnected as we are, we're not making a movie just for one specific nation. We're making a movie for the world. In our movie, um, just like the video game, our cast come from all corners of the world, from Japan, from Germany, where Max is, uh, from China, Canada, US, Australia, everywhere. So we want people to be easily relatable um, and our characters to be easily relatable to people. Awesome. Max? Um, yeah, I, I can uh, just agree with what Ludi said. I think um, this, the whole world of Mortal Kombat is much different than any other um, video game. Um, and um, I think it's partly also because of um, the, the, the gore and, and all of that. But I think um, what makes Mortal Kombat special too are the characters, you know, the, the very iconic and interesting characters. And then on top of that, you have those different worlds, like the realms. So um, over the time, I mean, now we have a whole Mortal Kombat universe. And I hope that in the future, we'll be getting more films to, to tell all those stories. Um, I love the fact that um, the studio and the director and the production, uh, producers um, made the decision to um, go with a very authentic approach in terms of how they would choose the cast. And so um, I think that is something that is new as well, because I mean, in the past we had, for example, our heroes were, uh, for example, Bruce Lee, and he appeared in a very big Hollywood film called Anti the Dragon. But in that film, he was the only Asian character. Uh, whereas now today we get the opportunity to show a whole ensemble of Asian actors starring in a movie and they're all pl playing very strong characters. Um, so I'm very, very proud and feeling very blessed to be part of this project. Absolutely. And what are your earliest memories of Mortal Kombat? Did you grow up playing the games? Yeah. I think Mortal Kombat, uh, as a kid playing Mortal Kombat, it's always kind of a guilty pleasure. You wonder if you're actually getting away with something. Um, yeah, so when you're in an arcade and you pull off a fatality, uh, first of all, you're shocked. And then you're looking around to see if anyone saw you do that. And then it was nice when you got Sega Genesis and you can do it all day at home. Um, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a... Uh, uh, it's kind of cathartic, I think. I, I, um, for our movie, I think we, we wanted to take that gore and all that violence and all that excitement and make it not gratuitous and like make it something that actually meant things to the characters. And in this world of Mortal Kombat, they come from a very tough and dangerous world full of challenges. Um, and that's this concept, this concept of arcana that we're bringing to the movie. It says something to my inner child because I think it, re it represents inner truth of each of the characters. And that truth comes from the legacy I have as a kid and in relation to Mortal Kombat. So I tie that together. And uh, I think it's really, yeah, it's really gratifying. Max, did you play the games or? Um, I played the games when I was a, since I was been a kid, uh, since I was a kid, but um, recently buying uh, MK11, I mean that is one of my favorite games. Um, I'm not that much of a gamer to be honest with you, but when it comes to Mortal Kombat, I I enjoy it a lot. Nice. Um, can you guys tell me about the relationship between Liu Kang and Kung Lao? Um, yeah, I think. You know, first of all, 
in this film, they are cousins. And so they, their background basically is from uh, being a Shaolin monks, right? And um, training under the master Borai Choi in the Wuxi Academy, as everyone knows, I'm sure. So um, they kind of acting as, um, they really complement each other, you know, meaning that um, it's kind of like yin and yang where you have, where you need both of the sides to have balance, to create balance. So I think Kung Lao would always be there for Liu Kang and Liu Kang would always support Kung Lao. That's kind of the relationship they have. And in terms of the characters, I think uh, Liu Kang is a very, um, monk-like character who is very pure and and uh, and he pray he prays and he's very um uh centered i feel whereas kung lao is sometimes a bit cocky and he's yeah he likes to confront people you know and you can see that in a movie i mean he does all the fatalities that's uh <laughs> That's how he deals with stuff. Yeah, I think I think what Max is what Max says is right on because we had a conversation in the beginning of the movie where um, where right away we agreed that this is their most important relationship. As for Liu Kang, his he's got a very traumatic history, and. Um, he's like a lone wolf searching for a pack and Kung Lao was the first companion that he got in terms of cousins in, you know, I grew up in China and over there, I just call my cousins brothers and the Shaolin, that's how you become, you don't have a family. So you go to a temple and you become a family. And so Liu Kang throughout the story, he's searching for, he's searching to grow his pack because in order to overcome this challenge that the whole world faces, you can't just strengthen yourselves individually. You need to find a pack um, because you're always stronger together. So that's what they found. And for Liu Kang and Kang Lao, they have a very strong history together, the yin and the yang. And, you know, for Liu Kang, he's got this inner fire and Kang Lao is kind of like the shield that protects that fire from exploding and hurting other people. Right. Um, so can you talk about how your martial arts training has really prepared you for this role? I remember hearing that, you know, the choreography for this was unlike any other choreography that has been allowed in film. So I think that your martial arts background is like really important to this. So how do you feel that your, you know, training prepared you for this? Uh, you think, uh, sorry, I think, um, you know, portraying martial arts in front of the camera in films is it's a much different game than um, fighting in real life, for example, in a competition, um, because you need to take care of the other actor not to hurt him. Whereas in real life, your main focus is to, you know, hurt someone else to, in order to win. So it's a different approach. And I think all of the actors, most of them do have um, a very professional background and a lot of experience when it comes to martial arts fight scenes. So uh, for myself, I've been training in martial arts for 20 years right now. And um, I got very lucky that the style that Kung Lao has, which is more of a Southern Shaolin style. And he also does have a lot of Wing Chun uh, elements in his um, fighting style. So I, I was very lucky that I, in the past, um, had the opportunity to study all of those styles, even though I didn't know that I would uh, land the role later on. So that that helped a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, they say, they say success luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And uh, for this film, we definitely had to be prepared. If we started from zero, we would have never made it to the finish. Uh, in terms of choreography, uh, I think it is different than, I, I would say a lot of films out there. Uh, Simon, our director really wanted that physical, gritty analog feel to it. Whereas a lot of films right now rely heavily on CG. We had to actually deal out the real action. So uh, our experiences definitely came in handy and 
probably helped us live through this process. And so you mentioned like working with Simon, how was it working with the director? It was, it was fantastic. Simon, first and foremost, his focus was being authentic. He was very open to what we, he casted us because he felt like we could bring something authentic uh, to these characters. And that's the responsibility that we have to own up to. And it's actually our responsibility um, to him and the story and to the, to the whole world that's waiting for this movie to speak up when we feel something is right for the character. And when we did that, he was totally open to it. Um, and I always want to bring something that's different, like some iconic scenes where it had to do with, you know, traditional Chinese medicine. I feel like that hasn't been seen before. So I want to bring that to the screen. Um, sometimes we're limited by time and um, just what we had to do because ideas bounce around in my head a lot, but he was all, always open to, to hearing about it. Um, there was this one moment actually that really touched me that, that really showed me that um, Simon's mind and heart is in the right place is when, remember the first time, Max, when we did your entrance scene and we didn't have enough time? Mm. Yes. Yes, I remember. Um, I mean, I totally agree with what Ludi said. I think Simon is such a, a great director who leaves so much space for the actors to come up with their own ideas and implement that into the film. So for instance, in that case, um, there's an entrance scene of Kung Lao and we didn't have enough time at the day um, to, to, to film it. We could have filmed it, but it would have ended up differently and not as good. So Simon took a moment and decided that we would add a not another extra day in order to um, shoot it that 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 entrance of Kong Lao the right way. And I was, I mean, I was so grateful for that because that was a very crucial point for not only the story, but also for the character to be part of the film. So I think Simon is one of those uh, human beings, directors who really knows what he wants. So he has a very strong vision of how this film should look like. At the same time, he's leaving enough space for other people to come in um, to, to give and share their ideas with him. And I think that's a great quality that he has and should, um, should keep for future projects. 